All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Spigen Glass Easy Fit 2-pack for the iPhone 14 Pro. Now, this is my absolute favorite screen protector. I always recommend the screen protector to everybody with any phone that they make one for because of how good it is, how super easy it is to install, and how well it works, honestly. For the price, it's absolutely great. So, like always, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below so you can check it out for your phone and grab one for yourself. But let's take a look at it real quick and then we'll install it. So, you do get a super easy installation. It does have the oleophobic coating, so you won't really get too many smudges from fingerprints and things like that. It is real glass with a 9H surface hardness. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and open the box. You'll see what you get. Now, I used to include a little pull tab here, but I guess not anymore. So let's go ahead and slide this all out of here. Just do it carefully because there is glass in here. So make sure we got everything. And so here are your two screen protectors that you get with the installation kit. They're already on here. And you get a little installation instructions. You get your squeegee, a little advertisement card, and you get your installation tools. So let's set all this stuff to the side and see what we get in here. So this is pretty much empty. You do get two lens cleaning wipes, one for each uh, screen protector. You get this microfiber cleaning cloth, your dust removal stickers, two sets of those, and also a how to remove bubbles little info card. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put it on the iPhone 14 Pro. Now this is the gold model, so let's grab one of our screen protectors. And we're gonna start by, now I do have the phone completely turned off. I find it easier with these phones that tap to wake to just do it with the phone completely off. So let's uh, first grab our lens cleaning wipe and we'll start off by taking this out. And we're just going to wipe down the phone. Give it a good wipe down. Now, I did have a Spigen screen protector on this before. But, you know, after a few drops and things like that, it did end up breaking. So, however, screen is perfect. And that's exactly what it's meant to do. It is protecting the screen. So, it does its job. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get all the edges where usually most of that glue residue is. And the good thing about these Spigen uh, screen protectors is they don't really come off with any kind of residue. Once you peel them off, you're pretty much good to go. I just like, you know, give it a once over. So next, let's take our microfiber cleaning cloth and we'll just give it a quick little wipe down. Make sure all the moisture from the uh, lens cleaning wipe is gone. All right, and now we'll take our dust removal stickers one of the packs. I usually don't mess with these little ones. I like to just take this big one and hit the whole screen with it. I find that works best for me, but do however you feel comfortable. They do also uh, include a video on how to install this, but I find it very simple. I just, you know, go over the entire screen with this and it usually works pretty well. All right, I think we're good to go. So let's take that, set that over there. And we're gonna take our first screen protector and take this back piece off. Now hold this facing down so no dust gets there. And we're literally just gonna set this on top, just like that, and press and slide. As you can see, the little bubbles are forming around here, but you'll see this is gonna be a very super easy installation and hassle-free. Now you do have to wait the 30 seconds. Honestly, I like to give it a little bit more time and I just sit here and kind of slide this through. I don't know, maybe it's unnecessary, but that's just what I do. I'll sit here and we'll come back once that 30 seconds is up and get back to the installation. All right, guys, so now it has been a little bit more than 30 seconds. I think I gave it about 45 seconds, but no problem at all. So let's go ahead and remove. Now it does say remove from this end. What I like to do is I just kind of try to dig it up here and hold just the actual installation kit and the screen protector down 
while I do this. So that way it just kind of, you know, doesn't peel anything up. You don't have to apply any pressure at all. Just hold it a little bit. Take that and throw it away. And we'll lift this directly off. And as you can see, you do have the screen protector on here. And it has a little bit of a film that you can see right here. And that's what we're going to take the squeegee for. And we're just going to get these out of here. Now you'll see it looks a little bad right now. But once we take this film off, it's going to be great. So just give it a little go over with this. Don't worry about any of these little scratches. This is just a little plastic film. We're just getting any possible air bubbles out. Now we're gonna peel this off. And you have a perfectly installed Spigen screen protector. We'll go ahead and cut this phone on. And it will fit just fine with pretty much any one of your cases. I do have that Disney case to fi case. This is my wife's case, so we'll take in here. And we're good to go.